This show is sponsored by MyOliveLeaf.biz, MyOliveLeaf.biz. Ginger Surprise. Please contact Hoshia or visit GingerSurprise.com for details. <laughs> and the Hurricane Report, merchandise and more. Due to some violent content, parental discretion is advised. When I was in court one time on 51st Wentworth, it's a kid that's a known hit. He's a known hit on the street. He was, this dude, he, 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 he's a fool on the street. When I walked up in that courtroom, he was sitting on his hands. He wouldn't even speak to me. I said, what's making this dude do this? Why is he silent for the lambs now? It's an arena that made him humble up. In order for our struggle, it's a certain dynamic that has been negated that you're saying that they have to take this stuff seriously. It's an arrogance that comes because the black people are treated as the Rodney Dangerfields of all races. When they when they when they when they come to the when they, when they go to the Mexicano community, you drop drop off in Mexico tonight. Anybody up in Mexico tonight, it's gonna be a humble to say, "Hold on, man, I'm gonna shut up. I'm not gonna say." When it comes to black folks, oh man, Black Lives Matter, that's the same thing. Occupy same. They start. It's an arrogance. It's not. It's not questioning. It's not. It's a. It's a cockiness. So it, we they people have to be humbled up. If certain situations have to happen, that we able to penetrate it. Now I got your ear, don't. Now I got your ear. You know what I'm saying? People say, how many members do you have a uh, uh, chairman? I say, depends on how many, people, how many people police kill. They say, huh? I say, depends on how many people police kill. And certain people that come to me at the police, oh, I hear what you're saying now. Before that, oh, we got to vote our way out of this here. We got to block. I say, okay, I'll get back to you. When I talk to them rappers, I say, wait a minute, wait till wait you fighting the case. If certain conditions have to, other than that, whatever we say to them, it's going through one and not the other end. So certain con- and, 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 and the conditions are coming. We welcome the conditions. Nixon, I say, I, I gotta say, niggas needed Nixon. When Kennedy was office, they couldn't hear certain stuff. Nixon came through, kept paying for law and order, kicked the doors in. It forced them. They started saying, "Hold on, man. You know how many groups there was out there? The coin Jay who was saying ninety percent over ninety percent of the coin tail forces the Black Panther Party. They was identified. It was it was clear. So all I'm saying is, it's people that grew up with me. They, man, they no humbleness. No, you. They come with an the arrogance. They, so they got to starve a little bit. They got to appreciate and respect the distinguishment. What this dynamic is, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, they not, they don't want to learn. They coming in. It's not a question. It's a position. They look for weak spots. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and again, you know, police come through. They not saying get. They, man, they. You know, you know, you know the young lady said the other day on on, 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 on on news the other day. She told. Now, she's been with these different white groups protesting. These, 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 these are the children. These, 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 these children are confused. They, they confused by everything. They confused. This, this, this particular group of children. But that child, you know what she said? She said on the news conference, she said, how is it that 80%, it was more white people out there with us protesting, who she said, I was with them, and it's the majority of us that's black that got locked up. She said, Mary Lightfoot, the girl said, I'm black. She said, she's black, and she said, she's gay. But she say, these are not the gay people. The black people got locked up. It took that. It took that situation for her to say. Before then, a week ago, she would say, "Oh yeah, it's really about you know." Now she getting some one on one classes in race relations. And you know, I'm gonna say this school closed. I'm closing. In the sixties, you know what? The, you know that the generation did. My mother told her auntie. You know what them people told their parents? We love you. All due respect. We ain't cutting no corners. I got, a, I got a young brother told me, he said, man, I'm upset with my father. They're going to they gonna have to raise up. Radio, d- 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 DJ. One Nation, One Station. All right, guys, she's back. Right now you're listening to the voice of Valerie Denise Jones. I hope and pray that you're having a great day. For those who know me on a personal tip, you guys know that I moved from one state to another, currently in a new place. Very, very excited to be here. Um, So yeah, Uh, once I set up my studio, guys, I am going to be bringing video to you in addition to audio. And then hopefully in the very, very near future, I will add a web series uh, to the lineup on the platforms uh, that I run. So please stay tuned for that. Until then, uh, guys, I'm having a great time enjoying life and I am getting ready for a birthday. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm really, really excited because this is the first time I will be celebrating. Um, I am scheduled to celebrate my birthday since my mom died. I had about nine deaths that happened back to back to include my best friend. So my 
entire support team passed away. And so because I buried my mom one week before my birthday and several days before hers, I neglected to uh, to even celebrate, you know, my birthday for several years. So big shout out to those of you who encouraged me to definitely live out loud and color outside the lines. And I also want to send a shout out to those of you who actually tithe into my life via Cash App, Cash App, dollar sign, Valerie Denise, Cash App, dollar sign, Valerie Denise. And uh, the people who I want to shout out is Lorna Florian, F-L-O-R-I-A-N, Tia Whitaker, uh, Derek Muhammad, D-L-W, Emmanuel Washington. And I want to send a big shower of love to Tomestis Vivian, T O M. E-S-T-I-S, Vivian. And also to those of you who are part of my Patreon family, I love you guys so much. I love you to life. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for holding your girl down because you guys know I've been pushing that Patreon platform really, really, really hard because of uh, you know all the violations we end up with due to sensitive content, and that's putting it lightly. So speaking of sensitive content, please make sure that you hit the like button, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and also sign up for the alerts. Make sure that you are still signed up for the alerts if you've done so in the past. All right, so I got a treat for you today. Um, Chairman Fred Hampton joined us uh, during our last broadcast, and I'd like to share a snippet with you, as I mentioned before, The full edit will be on Patreon, patreon.com slash Valerie Denise Jones, patreon.com slash Valerie Denise Jones. So you can go over there in a few hours and get the full edit. I'm not completely done with it yet, so bear with me because as I mentioned, I'm still setting up, but I wanted to get some of the content to you just so you'll know what I am currently working on, all right? So, guys, let's get started. Uh, I hope you enjoy this snippet. Blessings. All right. One more well, time on the airwaves. Hello, young man. Right now. Um, yeah. Hello, hello, Chairman. How hello. are you doing? Is Chairman part of your name, sir? Yeah, yeah it's, it's actually. I'm, I'm, honored, I'm honored to have it's my, my official title. It, 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 it became one of the same as my name. You know, until. Uh, I'll vote out of that. Well, that's your title. How did you get the title? <laughs> Just explain. I knew, uh, I met your father years ago. He was a teenager when I met him. I well, recruited Bungie Carter, who was chairman of the Panther Party in Southern California, John Hudgens, Minister of Propaganda, Geronimo Pratt, Elaine Brown, Nathaniel Clark. And uh, I knew before that Shermont Banks, who was the chair of the party in the L.A. area. So Mm -hmm. I was just wondering, that's, I take it that the party has, we've got the new Panther Party now? Is that correct? No, this, that's, no, no, that's, that's different, that's a different dynamic, different dynamic. I, I, I'm the chairman of the Black Panther Party Cubs. Um, and and, and as I said, the Cubs, yes, and not not to be. Uh, I know some people hear that term. So that, does that mean that you're young? Um, uh, no, that the deal is uh, our, our mantra says a position is that we're the great grandchildren of God, be the offspring of Malcolm, and the ideological Cubs of the Black Panther Party. Um, as I said earlier in the introduction, it's a tough act to follow. We try our best to walk in their, their not their footsteps, but their path to Paul steps. It's uh, it's an international organization. I was it's actually for, it was actually founded. While, my, while I was held captive myself, I'm a former political prisoner, um, which is the state gave me some trumped up charges right after, right after the uh, uprising, uh, semi valley verdict by Rodney King. And we were found, found while, I, while, I was, while I was held captive. We, um, was, uh, I'm just going to kind of restate some of the things I said earlier, too, that we don't, we don't call it a time warp, you know what I'm saying, but we look at that template, that prototype. And one of my major that my major jobs is to make this in the fight to maintain the legacy of the Black Panther Party. Uh, in fact, I've been we have uh, support we have forces in L.A. Uh, we just just uh, left Oakland, our sister city. So many of the, some of the programs um, again we, we we tend to walk and carry, carry that spirit on. And I, I'm, I'm, your I'm, enthusiasm is your enthusiasm is admirable. Let me ask you this: Have you made contact with Elaine Brown? 
Yeah, I, uh, I, uh, matter of fact, like we had reached, we had reached out to um, in regards to the, 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 uh, the actual campaign we're just talking about now. Uh, I sent a, we sent a call out to a number of different forces that was in the party uh, about um, the campaign to save the Hampton House. So we did this. Uh, ironically, that, that the, uh, the campaign that I just spoke about to save the Hampton House that was the last time I we had reached out to many different forces. Uh, we had did a different event um, for the 50th anniversary of Black Panther Park in Oakland, in which she and others were at. I think they were at the another. We, uh, it was the time kind of conflict. But we were at Laney College when the event for the 50th. We had, we had seen her briefly there, and also she got, she took her through a tour. Uh, uh, another part, other people that was, that was in the Black Panther Party took them through tours of the Hampton House, laying out the significance about you know how our position was and it still it still remains. How uh, uh, significant it is to not to, to say to maintain that place, and again, not in a subjective type of way, just you know about just about chairman prayer, but that of the Black Panther Party, that legacy of, of our people. All right, now may I ask you to do something out of respect? Yes, uh, the Southern California chapter uh, probably suffered more death from the responses of the Los Angeles Police Department and their SIS unit than any other part of the organization in the country. And there are a number of people who were slain doing what they did that probably need some historic recognition. Bungie Carter, John Hudgens, um, they need recognition. They should be recognized or organized as Sherman Banks, who started off the party in the L.A. area. He needs recognition. He did not get killed. And some of that history should be put in there out of respect, I would just suggest. And oh, you no, might no, contact no. Elaine Brown to find out a list of those who died uh, trying to get effective change. Just saying. Uh, hey Judge, we ain't seen. I don't know. I just got. I just. I just talked to uh, Deputy Minister Defense Bunchy Carter's niece. Uh, we we in constant contact. In mm -hmm. fact, when I'm in L.A., we. I mean, we 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 uh, we've been at UCLA campus the site where they sat where they were assassinated at. And again, yeah, I, I was in the building and the location. And what happened? Yeah. Is they were I down in the you. cafeteria. They got killed by four, well, two gunmen and two accessories from the US organization yes. at Ron yes. Karinga. They went upstairs, kicked in the door of my office, and put two bullets in the back of my chair. That was four more. So there were actually eight people out there that day. Elaine and I were coming down the staircase. Uh, we gathered up some weapons. And we arrived downstairs just as the four us members were running down the hallway. John fired six shots before he fell over dead, hit one of them in the back. Uh, got in, and Bunchy Carter was face down, propped up on one elbow, moaning, and then he collapsed. And then we got Gwen Goodlow to get all of the artillery out of the building. But it was a tense time. So, yeah, I was in the building when that happened. That was Campbell Hall. It was in the cafeteria. Yeah. They were going to demolish that building. But a coalition between black, brown, red, and yellow, we got that building saved and dedicated to minority affairs. And now they got a big building the biggest on campus, Bunch Hall, named after Ralph yeah. Bunch, who was a black involved with the U.N. But interestingly enough, the people involved with it now, they've all got white husbands or wives, and they don't understand what the devil was going along. And they, what is it, you kids <laughs> use now, boule? Yes, boule. I, I actually heard, I, I had checked the interview out that you did about this a uh, while back. But let, let me also, uh, also add this, uh, Judge. Uh, about, though I think we, I think we said to talk about this. They don't do the shot. I don't want to jump the gun. Uh, guys, also about this, um, this movie project they're talking about. Let me say well, this legacy. And I talk about the legacy of Chairman Prey and the Black Panther Party. By no means, by no means, I, I'm, I, um, I'm, uh, I, I'm, I'm the international chairman of this organization, and so. That uh, it's that the, the legacy of the Panther Party. That we said legacy is more important than our life. There were without giving too many, too many details. There were fights. There were uh, 
uh, I had to step away from the discussion about the potential movie in regards to not just him, but the legacy of Deputy Mr. Defense Bunchy Carter, the legacy of Minister U. The, the, that legacy, that prototype, you know what I'm saying? By no means, when we, uh, 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 say, when we talk about the museum, that's a, the discussion uh, 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 about Chairman Pritt is in the, 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 that organization which has been so many, in so many cases under attack and still under attack. They're not only through bogus books, um, revisionist authors, attempts to do movies, uh, state-made, we, we refer to a GMO organizations, government-made organizations. That, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's still mind-blowing to me when I go different places and and had a legacy of you know, what, what type of snake oil is able to be sold in certain arenas about what, what, the, what the Black Panther Party was. You know what I'm saying? said, well, what made the Black Panther Party unique? Was it because they had leather jackets? No, the Hells Angels had leather jackets. You know what I'm saying? Was they, was they, they knew the law? No, a lot of cats knew the law. But that entity, you know what I'm saying, I, that, that's, I fight so hard. We fight so hard for it because that, that, that that's my spoke at the uh, funeral service. We had the repast of Stanley Tookie Williams. I had left them, and we had we did something in the community, because you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, in Lemur Park. You know, when I spoke there, Lemur Park, I took Tookie Williams film. I said, Tookie Williams, they grew up in the climate, like similar to I grew up in. The pride of an organization such as the Black Panther Party, and the only options in life was to become a Boy Scout or a banker. I commit, we commit, never do what well, I want. Tookie Williams, let me back stop you right there. Tookie Williams and I were acquainted. He, Cliff Stewart, and Ron Chappelle, we were all playground directors at Trinity Avenue Elementary School, and Tookie was a skinny little 12-year-old on the playground along with another skinny 12-year-old, the late Barry White, the singer. So (laughs) we tried to put some manhood in both of them. Apparently, we succeeded. We tried to get Tookie out of the hood, but his mama wouldn't let us get him out of the swamp, so he just became the baddest alligator in the swamp. Did. Did. Last person <laughs> executed on California's death row, but yeah. he wrote six we books were, we, for kids, and some of, I found it interesting, some uh-huh. of what I saw in his books or what me, Dr. Stewart, Dr. Chappelle now uh, were trying to teach then, so it makes me feel good that our instruction took root, at least in part. By the way, right for on. those who know Grandmaster uh, Sensei Guru uh, Pendeka Clifford Stewart is an extremist. He's not doing well. So yeah. that's yeah. a very interesting yeah. individual. And he was at UCLA at the time, too. So... Uh, Black Belt Magazine calls him probably the most dangerous human alive in America, or at least he was until he took sick. But, mm-hmm. you know, people are like that. So we had a thing going on. May I point something out? Who is this heavyset teacher, a sister, that travels all over the country, and every time the resurrected Panthers start doing something, she shows up, gets a bullhorn, and jumps in front of them, and starts rambling off on stuff that's not inspirational or needed and ruining the effect. And they resent that greatly. I experienced that uh, two or three years ago, four years ago, and the brothers Hmm. were very disturbed about who this was. Somebody needs to put her in check. They had shut up, so they had the press. Everybody showed up to hear them. She ran her mouth off Hmm. for an hour and a half. After monopolizing the microphone, the press left, and the moment passed. And she had nothing to say. She bored the hell out of the audience. Half of them went to sleep. But she's been doing that. Who is that? I'm not. I'm not familiar. Particularly, it's, it's so many. It's so many. They come a dime a dozen. The, the system. They raise up so many individuals. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 the co-op to obliterate or malign the legacy of Black Panther Party. We work at 24 hours a day. I mean, we I mean, we had to go shut. We had to listen. They didn't try to do judge. They didn't have. They didn't try. They didn't have innocent. You name it. They didn't have everything ranged from attempts to do movies. They weren't authorized to these people. They, 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 in New York, Chicago. They didn't create. They didn't have petri dishes. They didn't produce different people that was in the party. Raise them up as folks. We don't cut no corns with none of them. Until the Black Panther Party cut. We don't. We don't, we don't, they don't raise, they don't, they don't try to raise up family members, bogus organizations. We come to, we come to see them. We go, we, we know when that, 
Then we done went down on movie sets. We don't, you know what I'm saying? We don't went up on these bets, you know what I'm saying? Because that legacy is more important than our life. So they are, they are down with the, And we create a climate where it's not just the Panther Party Cubs, it's the community, the people. We hiding the contradiction. Like I said, in a lot of, a lot of places, like a gardener, it's certain soil that they can sell that snake oil in. Once we hide, the deal, the opposition is hiding the contradictions so the people can't, you know what I'm saying? They can, the people themselves, you know what I'm saying? They can see them, they, they can see them, them individuals, with them, 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 whether they be directly on the payroll with the state or just, you know, see just a bunch of reactionary, reactionary individuals. So they are dime a dozen. But this part, we say this Panther Party politics, we care like garlic. They keep the common cold away from the community, you know what I'm saying? So soon they try to raise them up. Hey, hey, man, I, I'll be all day name, name you list of individuals that they done tried to raise up. The informers in the center, center of our organization, the attacks, the slander campaign. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people think it's just like they look at the Corinthian poll like in an abstract type of way. Right? That's how bad it was back in the 60s. This, when we correlate, we make that connection to what's going on right now. Because a lot of people, they wait till it's safe to talk about it. I use the analogy with, with, where they had Muhammad Ali on the Wheaties box in 1988. And the guy said, Well, Ali was destroying the athlete back then. Why y'all put him on that? And they said, Because he's safe. We don't, I mean, this was before his physical death. The deal is, we don't. We, we say we don't. We don't serve no cold meals. We, we give them to the life. You know, say so we give them to hot. We call a question on individuals. Even they don't try to bring people. They don't try to bring individuals that was in the party. You know, what I'm saying to rewrite that leg. We go to, to rewrite the, and we don't. We don't cut no corners with none of them. Because again, I seen with that legacy. The, 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 uh, uh, again, it's more important than our life. They, this, when, I, when I talk about the uh, uh, the continuing prison, the man, you know what I mean? Forty knows H. R. Brown, Mumia Abu Jamal. This, I'm not. I tell you, I'm definitely, I ain't set tripping. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, I'm, I'm on the ground in Lemur Park in L.A. We're on the ground in Oakland, California, Detroit, Ohio. You know what I'm saying? I'm just based here in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? But, again, this is in, I, I definitely chair with Franco in, 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 in France, our France chapter. We fight, he's going to trial next week for the Trump charges. I definitely chair woman in Brazil. You know what I'm saying? A uh, 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 subjective. So this stuff is, you know what I'm saying? It's going, now a lot of people don't recognize what's going on because the Black Panther Party Club, we, we like to, um, last call for alcohol. We the ones inside the bodies and serving people all the time. But we don't, you know, say so we don't. The state, the media don't put us up there. So a lot of kids they go to these different GMO organizations. Wanted that state, state sanctioned spokesperson. But when he get to the point, they say, man, who is that? This, the the cubs been here all the time. So can check our resume. We honor to serve the people, but similar to that of the '60s, a lot of kids want, you know, saying when it becomes fashionable, they bring these different athletes up out of the, you know, saying uh, be, uh, Beyonce do halftime. A lot of people are black when it's beneficial, play Panther when it's profitable, and claim to be connected to the Cubs when it's comfortable. We on this 24-7, consistent, nonstop. Let me say this. Yes, sir. Uh, there's a lot of co-optation going on, and there are a lot of people that want to claim involvement that weren't. Yeah. And it's a shame, so stay strong with what you're doing. I'm yes, glad sir. that you used the phrase... Heighten the contradictions. Miss Valerie will tell yeah. you that I often say that, and I guess that's a carryover from the 60s. And I've been saying instead of voting for, instead of going for the lesser of two evils, sometimes what you need to do is go for the option that heightens the contradiction so you, you can see it. what's actually going yeah. on. Like black folk yeah. running around here for a decade saying there's no problem. Why you got to be a dinosaur judge talking about uh, racism and the things that are going wrong with the country when all of those things changed up? Said no. And then they got Trump in. He heightened the contradictions. And now they're whining and crying about racism and everything else. And they don't get the idea about reality. Well, so one of the things so I keep trying to tell people is, look, infiltration is real when you get the grandstanding and floor showing you will find that if you had the ability to check it out you would have a great number of your members who are infiltrators snitches agents provocateurs and you will have them as undercover cops and fbi agents dea and everything else uh <laughs> ATF, and you are have to deal with that. And we got this thing we're talking about, about unity, and I keep telling people that unity just doesn't come because you uh, want it. 
or vague about it, you got to impose unity. And if you don't have unity, you don't have an organ, uh, organizational structure strong enough to unify behind. Man. All you got Come is on. rhetoric. Come on with it. Come on. Hey, Joe, let, me, let me jump in with you, Joe. Let me, let me, let me just tag team with you real quick on something. Go ahead. One, the, 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 the initial point you brought up. And so we, you know, so we relate to combat, combating liberalism. And just saying, let me, let me call it this back in the day of the 60s, back in the, 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 the black power movement of the 60s. There was a class piece during the tenure of John F. Kennedy, a class piece. Now, military reproduce one of the most difficult jobs of being a revolutionary is to fight in the interest of the people, even when they don't know their own interests. So the Panther Party was consistent, even when it was fashion. So then, when, the, 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 uh, when Nixon kept pulled the covers up and said, campaign for law and order, it forced a lot of cats. You know what I'm saying? They become quote unquote conscious. You know what I'm saying? Uh, sometimes you have, you have a lot of reactionary responses. And that, 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 that's, 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 that's not just some of the black community. That's the reality. Because people get involved in struggle one of three ways inspiration, aspiration, or desperation. In fact, the Black Panther Party Club, we, we say, he turned more than me black. He turns more than me black. Now, that means is, you know what I'm saying? Michael Jackson might tell you one day, it'll make a difference you black or white. When that case comes down, the song's going to change. They don't care about us. I get letters from cats right now who locked up for 75 years. Oh, Chairman, I hear what you're saying right now. Yeah, yeah, no, no doubt about it. So the conditions are necessary. I, you know what I'm saying? But the, the vanguard, the leadership has to be even when it's not fashionable. And we, we can call it just to, 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 like, we, they, we, I was just even doing the Obama administration. Was that Obama was the coldest drawers that America dropped on blacks since crack. I'm going to repeat it again. I can't speak kind of fast. Obama was the coldest drawers that America dropped on blacks since crack. You, know what you got me laughing, son. You got me laughing. When he was running, yeah, when he was running for exactly Senate. Exactly right. When he, was running for, when he was running for Senate in Illinois, that was up. That was the Black Panther Party up on that stage. The, 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 when they brought, we went up on stage, we said, you said this, the, the, Paul, Paul, all, they were saying, that was always on the stage. When they said, when they, they brought them, Russell Simmons and them brought them Pied Pipers in, trying to save people, send people sleep, we said, this is it, man. They, what's their position on political prisons in Africa at that terrorist bill? Now, when I say political prisons, just talking about the numbers in Illinois. I'm talking about Sunday out of Cody. I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about Rochelle C. Q. McGee. You know what I'm saying? We ain't sex tripping. This is international politics. We've we, we been attacked internationally. So people say, oh, man, y'all need to be cool. This is going to be one of the first black senators. We, it's documented. We said we don't care if you're going to be the first black Martian. If they ain't just the Let me, in, let me interrupt you for something. Let me interrupt you for something. I told you yeah. I'd met your daddy when he was a teenager. So you were. You sound like him. <laughs> in a way. Hey. But actually, hey. to give you some kudos, you sound better than he did. Well, I, hey, I, I can't. I get a hold of myself because this is that that that. The, hey, them Paul steps there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I, hey, I'm honored to walk in them walking them Paul steps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, I like it. I like it. I haven't heard this in yeah. 50 years, but man, man, uh, you sound that, better than your daddy did. All, in, in all due respect, John. All due respect, John. We got a lot of times people say, "Well, man." What is, this just happened. I ain't heard about it. How the old, how the old action go, if a tree falls in the forest, and, and somebody sit down here, it doesn't make a sound. Of course, just because we, the deal is, it's an interview. Man, you go on YouTube and put up an interview when I was in L.A. with Steve Wine about 15 years ago. You know what I'm saying? I got cases in L.A. We, we, they, after grad, we've been, so we've been getting down. So the, 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 we said let's see the time, because it's your second, because again, we the last call for alcohol. It was so at the point, Judge, you admitted I wanted to touch on about uh, the, the second thing you had said. About uh oh 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 about the about the structure. I'm glad you said that. This goes to your initial question about how I'm the chairman. A lot of places I did like we had did an interview uh, I did an interview yesterday, and this sister she could see politics impacts your hearing and lack of hearing, your vision, all that. I say my genre that I represent of being a revolutionary. I say people. I say one unique dynamic about the Black Panther Party was the politics of it. He was chairman for it. That was dead minister defense bunch of college. Not because the state sanctioned. A lot of organizations talk about, yeah, the white man, this white man, that. In theory. However, they're going practice and you know what I'm saying, and bow down to them Yankees. You know what I'm saying? See, that was us. We checked the report in Chicago to send the newspaper for referencing Chairman Fred's widow is his girlfriend. See, that the Black Panther Party didn't say on oh, Monday the state is attacking us. We don't value. They didn't go down there too and say, excuse me, could you stop Billy Club, beat us with the Billy Club, the, 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 Billy, the, the nigga bigger, and lock, locking us up and validate our relationship? It was consistent. The politics of the terms were. I was, I was, I'm in Ireland. I'm in Ireland on a delegation for the Mumia Abu Jamal campaign. Yeah, Ireland. I'm in Ireland. So we, we, me, the move uh, of the family, the move family, we're in Ireland. So get Ireland. So I mean, uh, burn their devils, the Irish, Irish Republic Army. 
she first come out, she said, I remember seeing you as a child, a baby had a, a, like a chain, a bullet around your neck. She said, and I remember y'all titles, y'all organization. That's Mr. Health, Ronald Doc Sackey. It don't be no ego tripping, but that structure, that politic of it. And you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and like I say, automatically, like you say, a rapper, you say, okay, I, this is Puffy Cone, this is Jay-Z. They, people respect that. Even the, the, the deal is, this is, I can tell you, like, you know, this is some battles, you know what I'm saying, we even had on movie set, let me be clear. I, I only was out consulted, I had to do a whole bunch of damage control in that movie set. I, this ain't no ragtag group, you know what I'm saying, a group of guys. This is a structured organization. Oh, people talking about, well, I heard, was, was, that was, was that your friend? It's not, we say turn like comrade, this is real talk. This is, this is a... Yeah, a place, a lot of A lot of locations you go to, they, well, in my mind, the Panther Party was this, that. You can't sell that they call this Chicago. It's a structure here. One of America's policies, one of America's policies is to create chaos and restore order. Create, it's a definition for a Chevrolet. It's a definition for a Muslim. It's a definition for Black Panther Party. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in Denver, Colorado, for some years back speaking. So there's one cat, he's talking about, hey, man, you know, they, they mean well, you know, all y'all should come together. I said, okay. Some of the legacy of Black Panther Party. I said, okay, I'll be right back, bro. I'm finna go, I'm finna go do my uh, salats, my prayer. I'm gonna pray to the North. He said, whoa. I said, oh, are you offended? That's, that's, that's sacrilege, ain't it? He said, he said, yeah. That's my point exactly. When it comes to this legacy of the Black Panther Party, it's a structure to this here. And the Black Panther Party cause is carrying the legacy of the organization. Anyway, saying, but the soul's about. I like it. Okay, that's good. Now, I tell you what. I want to let you tell us what we need to hear. You got the platform. Run with it. And I'll come back in in a little bit. I'm not going to interrupt you, but I haven't heard this in a long time. It's good hearing it. And like I said, and you're I, putting it out there better than your daddy did. I, re, I respect. I re, I, the deal is, this, like I say, it's a, it's a climate. This is, it's a, we, we, we in a, we in a stage in the game. It's ter- it's, 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 okay, it's, let me, let me say this. Called. I'm giving you a compliment. You're in your 50s, right? I, I, I'm actually 50, 50, 50 on the dot, and I'm surprised. I'm 50, I'm 50 exactly. I'm surprised it made it this long. I'm, I'm riding the fumes now. You know what yeah, I'm but what I'm, I'm saying is, 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 what I'm saying is, is unfortunately, your father was just at 20 when he was slain, but you've got 30 years worth of wisdom and experience to put on top of it, and too many of the leadership in America that was killed was under 40 when it happened, so they never got into their full manhood, maturity, or store of wisdom to input into what they had learned. So that's good. I am fond of saying on this forum that we haven't had a black political leader slain since your father, and that's been 50 years ago. And all of the rest of them were just playing thug stuff and rap and fitting into that crazy mantra of nonsense, entertainment, and distraction. All right, so go for it. You got the you got the floor. Judge, um, judge, and uh, chairman, give me one second um, because I just want to uh, do a time check. That's the first thing I want to do uh, with you, Chairman Hampton. Um, I want to see how much time you've got. We've got three people who I definitely want to uh, get and in, bring in this conversation, and that would be Brother Bernard, of course, giving him um, a chance to have some dialogue with you guys. Um, but also we got Maurice Duncan and, and Derek Muhammad, who I'm going to allow to chime in. But uh, so if you could tell me what kind of time you've got available. I was, um, I, 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 I was set for, I, I, I relate to Democratic Centralism, so I, I'm, past, I'm writing a note to my, one of my, to my um, comrade right now, ask her to get a little extension of time, you know what I'm saying, because I'm doing it right now as we speak, so I think we're going to be good. For, let, me, let me know how much time y'all want to go with. I think we're good for a minute. we good. All right, Mr. Chairman, uh, you got it for a while. Right. Interact with these other guests that we have on today. I'm going to be listening. All right? Yeah, so right, I want to so at this time give you a chance to finish your thoughts and the then people. just toss it. All right. Yeah. Right on. Pass it back to me to yes. let me know when it's okay for me to uh, open up the lines, okay? All right, so Chairman, well, you know what, you know what? opportunity thing, to speak. I, I'm open. I'm, I, I really I work best that way. The interaction with the, 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 the uh, Chairman Fred would say, I feel the beat of the people, you know what I'm saying? And let me say this. Let me say this. Bring, bring, bring the, the callers in, but let me say this. I'm armed with a politic. We armed with a politic. It does not force us into 
either or. You know, what I'm saying this. Uh, you know, it, it, like even um, I, I, uh, you know, this is in regard to the, the legacy of Chairman Fred and the Black Panther Party. You know, like uh, uh, Sheikh Anta Diop talked about, like the society our people come from. It was not. It was. It worked in like it can work in. It's a matriarchal type of society. We could work in harmony with you know nature and the gender contradictions, the men and women. And it acknowledge that there are contradictions. They aren't necessarily they have to be antagonistic. People talk about that different leadership in the Black Panther Party. Well, who was this person? This imperialism breeds a dynamic where it says something like, "Hey, this person, you know, this comes at the expense of that." You know what I'm saying? No, you, you know, you know, no, you know what I'm saying? No, they, uh, like I said, we come. You, you can look in Kenya and Africa. We come from society where you, uh, you, an individual can ride the elephant and go where they're going, and elephant can, can still exist. It doesn't have to be, be one at the expense of the other. My tree taller than your tree. You know, it's acknowledging contradiction. You know what I'm saying? It's taken to account. I see when we talk about even talking about Chairman Fred Lady's Black Panther Party, it's important. This is another thing I just told you on the movie set. The cats you got a generation of cats that, that don't they can't fathom some cats was organized without no cell phones, without no social media. So all these different dynamics got to be put in context, you know what I'm saying? And that's what the philosophical tool that we relate to is dialectical materialism. As opposed to just, you know, absolute like okay, you got to you gotta put stuff in context. I say like it's what you mean by that chairman. I say, Okay, you know, imagine some cat talking about uh they, 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 they're in the Muslim community. They, 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 they get a dowry for their wife, and they come up and tell me they got some three horses and some cow. You want you want to catch a case? You have to put stuff in context. You know what I'm saying? Different dynamics. You know, like even even I'm real careful on how you know the criticism even with certain generations coming up. A lot of these, a lot of these youngsters, it, 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 like even judges, judges, Mr. Mission go about the age or it's a strategic war tactic. The, the time they lock themselves. So, like even some of these guys come out of, out of prison. If you know, 50, 55, 60 years old, you know, I mean, all these they get out. This they have been taken away from the community at, a, at, a, at their reprodu- the time during their reproductive uh, 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 ages. And like it was, I think it was on the tenure of George Bush Senior. And I think it was over seventy eight percent of the population in Iraq was under seventeen years old. So here you had a whole generation of cats who had no frame of reference. What happened to them before? You know what I'm saying? And so now you're going to do so much reactionary. You know what I'm saying? Like two cats who just getting involved. You know, ain't got no past example. You know what's going on, folks. And you know the term generation technically means twenty one years. When you're in the when you're in the colonized community, you have to assess and adapt those definitions. So you got to. I mean, one time one of our comrades, he come on, he come on, make a reference to this young cat Boosie. He was saying he like Tupac. Said, Hold on, man, that's a different cat. A young, he he grew up his era. What he got, got to work with? You know what I'm saying? He say, man, no. So I, I took him a little Boosie directly. I said. Now, you see the different dynamics, you know what I'm saying? You, you, and that, you get to understand what produces a pop. A, what makes a Nipsey Hussle? When I first met Nipsey Hussle, the late, when I first, I'm backstage in, in, in Sacramento at a concert. So I'm, 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 say, I'm at a distance. So I'm looking, I say, man, what's kind of chain you got on? So this man, you, at this time, this when they pushing the whole thing, Kanye West on with the, the white Jesus with the go. So I get, I say, whoa, whoa. I said, yo, this young brother got Malcolm X on his, on his neck. So now I pause. I say, my man. I said, you familiar with Nipsey? I said, you. I said, I said, I said, you familiar with Chairman Fred Hampton? This Nipsey Hussle. This I'm telling you, man. He tell me. He, he say, Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. What type of man would I be if I knew who Chairman Fred was? This thing just come out no vacuum. You look. You know what I'm saying? You look at the dynamics of his father. You know, you know what I'm saying? His lineage. Him being going. Him being going to Eritrea and experience that communalism. So a lot of cats have. They have no frame of reference of even seeing nothing like the Black Panther Party. So that's why you have a, that's why that's why certain places and certain generations you can they can sell certain snake oil to him. His legacy, when I talk about it, we ain't talking about this no chairman, this no, 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 no taken away by Chairman Fred. This I seen what is the this is a brother up here she got into who name uh, it called Big Law. It told, Google his name, Lars Lee. In Chicago sometimes this cat was assassinated. This young brother was with the black disciples. Now mind you the history of the black disciples. Let me just take take a look back so we can put it in the correct context. The Black Panther Party heightened the contradiction. It was fifth the script when the FBI is documented. It's a book called Up on Madison Down on 79th Street by John L. Rice. What the FBI told the Vice Lord, they'd get him 16th Street if the Black Panther Party could not open a free medical center on 16th Street. Chairman Fred warned them cats at certain points from the guilty to the fact they ain't working in a free medical center. Heightened the contradiction with the devil's disciples get up publicly and say, We now change our name to be known as the Black Disciples. Do some political activity. You see the chair of the Black Panther Party. Even at the federal government's own, you see the Black Stone Rangers because the Black Peace Stone Nation. It was a different dynamic. The federal government said, even the Black Panther Party was on the scene, there was a record load they called Black on Black Crime. That's the politics that we relate to. So we dare not negate it to know. We don't, like, we, we, when we brought this proposition to many people that was in the Black Panther Party, 
But the house we see, man, in fact, I'm matching with the Hampton House is. It's bigger than the building, more significant than the structure. We first got to the Hampton House, they try to they try to soak earth. Try to turn into a dope house. It's documented. It's completely dope. We can't, we clean, we ain't cut no clothes with none of them. They had family members. We put two suitcases up there. This is what that's what I said, y'all. You like we understand the significance of that location. We've been been up that building been flooding, water all the basement, ceiling falling in. But we said, indeed, this shit, man. The political significance of this place, we got to maintain it. We got to, it's a war tactic. When Napoleon came through and shot that speech of the nose, it was a strategic tactic. I got ideological differences with Dr. King. However, when, that, when the, you read that article about a year ago that the government had to took the house of Dr. King in Atlanta, that's a statement to all them resources, all them, all that money them rich Negroes got up there, that they, they, they take the house of Dr. King. This is, you, see, we let Dr. King, we look at things subjective, whether it be uh, for property, I be talking about just the land. They talk about land negated other politics. We like even sexuality. See, we like when we look at that subjectively. Oh, this this rapper like that rapper. Man, these bills, you'll be all of these bills, arranged weddings, strategic moves, conquering tactics. When Rome said go take over country, you go for it won't about that who they like you physically. Political maneuvers. And we have to understand everything is political. They ain't even know they talk no no plantation politics. Words turn fashion. They got our community so reactionary, we have be talking about, well, look how Obama dressed. He look how smooth you are. You don't see white folks talking about, about uh, how Trump looks. They, they talk concrete policy. And what's politics? Food, clothes, and shelter. How it's distributed, how you did it, how you received it. And who gets it? Everything political. I don't know if you're looking on time, so you might want to bring, bring, bring our guests in. Uh, I'm, I'm excuse me, uh, 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 callers in, too. All right, um, so I'm also going to open 407308. Uh, let, let me ask you a Austin. question. Uh, I got a question for you, Chairman. Let me ask you this. Yes, sir. How do you yes, sir. contrast the reaction that you've seen from the authorities in Chicago to this, uh, I don't want to use the term unrest, just a unruly little gang of ratchet cupcakes uh, getting out of hand as to what they would have done 50 years ago if people had been doing the same kind of thing, they would have really called out the cavalry to go jack some folk up. Nowadays, they're acting with so much restraint, letting them burn stuff up, hardly arresting anybody, letting them right out on bail to go do it again, and nobody's getting beaten, jacked up, or done in. Contrast to the response let, let, today let me, in Chicago to what it used to be. Well, let me let me let me let me premise with this. Um, Viewers, we got, we got, we got. Again, we got to um, uh, acknowledge that just because the news don't report it, don't mean it ain't happening. It's like, like the Chicago got. It was a discussion about what they call the black sites. Now, people talk about the black sites when black sites really is. They, they, this is um, one of them was built on the Homer Square police. You know, saying underground police station where the police admit that they island they adhere to no police protocol. Take you in, they got ski masks on, badges. This became they acknowledged it. When the white individual was taken there, now mind you, we, we, it's we, this been going on. This in 1996, uh, uh, former U.S. Attorney for Northern District Jim Burns, op, they implemented Operation Headache. They did these swoops on the uh, GDs, former gangster site, but then they became growth and development. There are sections of them who have never been seen again. So these contradictions have been happening. But what happened? You know, so the, the, like, it's kind of like, like Richard Pryor said: white people arrive through the black neighborhoods, see people shooting dope in their arms, and say, "Hmm, that's a shame." They had come home and they sung at a can of Budweiser and say, "Oh my God, it's an epidemic." So there, are, it's like, and that's one of the, the criticism that Chairman Fred had raised during the Democratic Convention, like you see today about the, the white left. You say y'all might y'all might y'all were getting involved and engaged in some coasteristic anarchistic actions that will bring down heat on the black community and here we want the project. So I, I think it's important that we, that we set the narrative just because the news are reporting it. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people talking about, I think the police we just this is just happening because social media. No. I we I'll be on scenes. I've been I was just I was I'll be at protest and I on Fifty Six Aberdeen the other day, the, 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 the last week, and I, the news was they had the news corral in a corner, and they called the police. And said, this is true report. I, when people seen what I what I went live on. They said, "Man, when was that?" I said, "The same situation." So I want to premise with that. Two, I think it's important also. That we all that we we talking about whatever contradiction we're talking about. What we talking about the, the uh, uprisings? We talking about the crime in Chicago? We talking about even talking about revolutionary organizations? That nothing comes into our community, whether it be chitlins or crack. 
that's not contaminated by this system. They, they, they didn't get their hand on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, nothing, ain't, ain't, nothing, ain't nothing in Chicago, excuse me, Chirac, ain't no dope, ain't nothing in this city that the cartel ain't got their cut on. That's a fact. So you, there are certain dynamics that are organic, and then they're, 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 they're saying, you have, you're saying that, that's in hand. So, it's, so a lot of these, a lot of these individuals are created, are put into the, the, to our community. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we are, so be like, man, like in the community, like, why, why, why uh, Nicky Barnes never got locked up in New York? Oh, man, you know, uh, uh, the police don't know where he is. He was on the parole for Rudolph, Rudolph Giuliano all the time. A lot of these organizations, they, on the, they, they didn't uh, infiltrate. They didn't, just turn, they didn't sell, sell out. The word sell out is one of the most overused terms in the black community. Why do I say that? It'd be individuals who told you through the dope, through their actions, or they not acts, lack of actions, what they, what they was on. You, we, we, a lot of times we come in with a foregone conclusion. Oh, man, you know, man, this person's going to do such a – they didn't even say they're going to do nothing. Obama never said nothing. He, Katie Corey interviewing him, he, he, he told you, man, I'm giving credit first. Man. No, he don't mean that. You got to wait till the next turn. He's going to speak in cold words. If you go to the pest, though, they tell you, listen, man, we ain't got no, we ain't got no more dogs, man. All we got is goldfish. You said, man, I got my heart set on some dogs, man. You know, they said, sir, we don't have no dogs. All we got is goldfish. But if you're so subjective, you get the go. You say, well, okay, I, I, I get that. You get the goldfish. You come home. You throw a leash on it. You feed the goldfish puppy child. And you say, man, I can't. This dog, this dog, this dog, this, 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 this ain't nothing. This is sold out. It ain't barking. It ain't defending my house. That is on you. These, these. So we have to come in with a correct preface. That's the, that's the relationship. So like, come talk, you say, oh, this is a one-night stand. This one. Okay, that's what it is. Now, you can go and buy weather wings on it. You have to question yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of these entities, individuals, they put in our community. See, gentrification, excuse me, land grab. These are war tactics. These are war tactics. You destabilize the community. Well, one of America's policies is to create chaos and restore order. They got groups out here that you think protesting. People don't know the people from a can of paint. They don't know them from a can of paint. Once you destabilize the structure, see, see one thing about you, you see, you think Chicago was the last place that crack, the government brought crack in by coincidence? They had to kill Fuki Stokes and lock up Chief Mali. Stabilize the structure. It opens the door for different moves. Our community, they, they, got, they got these young cats, they go pick out these things. They, 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 like, a, like, a, like in a jungle. They send the poachers in. Kill a, kill a mama, the daddy mama gorillas. Then the first, the, the baby gorilla be so, so traumatized, the first thing she see, she don't see no, the, the baby don't see no, 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 no breast milk from the gorilla. They got that white hand putting that, that powder milk in them. And they think that that's they say. They never forgot just the, just the poacher. So our community, they come through. They, they, they strung our families out. They, they locked lock us up, killed. Then they come through, throw them in these foster homes, you know what I'm saying, these orphanages. And they come through and they get through with that. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 like, like a two-year-old I'm going to tell you something, Joe. I'm going to tell you something. I never get this one. Thing. I never get this. You heard, I don't know if you, you, you heard of uh, former Lieutenant of Chicago Police John Burge. John, uh, John, you heard of John Burge? Yes, I have. John Burge, but I know you. I know, I know you. Know what I'm I know you. I know you. You, you have to him, but just for the benefit of those who are not familiar with, uh, commander every two violent crime. And he was and now. Not people making like he's a bad torture person. He's a bad individual. He was part of a machine. His he really got down when Daly was a state's attorney. Daly Jr. state's attorney. He was equipped with a special elite sort of team. Including that team, he had Joe Machine Gun Gorman, who got his nickname, got his moniker from the role he played in December 4, 1969, the assassination of Chairman Freddie Pinkett and Mark Clark. Now, 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 John Burge, he was, now, he was trained. His home, a uh, 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 Fort Benning, Georgia. All the, the, electric, the electric box, all the type of tactics he would do, he was trained. And he, he took him across seas, but he was getting down over in the U.S. They, 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 they would acknowledge he was, this is, oh, man, he is a bad police. Matter of fact, my brother on the line right now, he remember I, just, I had to go, I love him, but no, I, we, I said, listen, man, don't be saying this dude is no bad, but this ain't no body fight, this ain't no Mayberry. This is a war. Ain't no war on drugs, no war on guns, no war on gang. It's a war on our people. And, 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 and when you have different, you had slave, you had these different rappers, Dropping them, that, 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 uh, 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 that garbage on us. There ain't no, there ain't no bad rappers. That's propaganda bombs. We have to start recognizing war terms. So John Burge, we we, we had court one time. Uh, uh, that night, John Burge didn't get charged uh, with torture. He didn't get charged with torture. He got charged for lying to the feds. So basically, they say, listen, your crime ain't 
is that you're shocking black folks on their private parts. Your crime is you lied to white folks. So when he had court, the lawyer he got, the same lawyer he had, the same lawyer, the one depending the police, James Van Dyke, on, on, on uh, shot Laquan McDonald over, over 15, 16 times. So we sit in the court downtown the federal building. This after, now, I imagine I've been banned from the court, so I finally, they give me back up on the phone there, so I'm back in the court. We're in the courtroom. i never forget this. The dude, one guy who was tortured. Now, now, now you, John Burge, had a whole list of guys, people, you know, women and men. The women, the women, now, I'm not going to say he didn't torture women because I don't know about them. See, that's, that's see, humbleness. Is, we have to acknowledge it, man. I, if I know it's the stuff I know I'm not here to. But we're in court, and so the guy is describing how John Burge tortured him. He break it down how to we put the uh, typewriter bag over his head, put the electric shock on his on his, on his sex organs, all that. So the John Burns lawyer come up there, he say, hey, tell us again what you know what, what happened to you. So dude say it again. It wasn't a dry eye in the courtroom. Everybody know their eyes were they messed up. I mean, man, everybody messed up. Everybody, everybody twisted. So he looks over there. He say, tell the courtroom your first phone call that you made when you got on no bond. So he looked toward me. So everybody look at me. So just, we think he's going to bust out some cold blooded, you know, some, some Columbo evidence. Like, you know, like, you do get out. He was, you know, protesting with me. So, so I'm trying. I don't remember this dude. He told me, what's, what's happening? So the guy, the guy mumbled something on the stand. He said, repeat again to the court, what was your first phone call that you made after you got out from being tortured by John Bird? Man, this dude said his first phone call when he got to being tortured. He called Lieutenant Burge and asked him, could he get his tools out the car for him? Hey, I, now, listen. And they ain't they call the police. The dynamics of our community, man. They pick up certain forces. Politics like real estate. Time and location. When they, how they assassinate the Chairman Fred? The Pinsky of the Mark Clark. How they assassinate the Mr. Pinsky of the Mark Clark? The Pinsky of John Huggins. Strategic strikes. Who they raised up? Who houses got raided? January 17, 1969. Not just, the, not just what happened on UCLA campus. What with the aftermath? The whole process of, see, that's different between the war and the revolution. A war is two occupying armies, suit up and boot up and get down to get down. A revolution gained the mass of participation of the masses of the people. A lot of places are so reactionary. All they see is the gun. All they see is the, no, no, no. Who they raise up? Who didn't get attacked? Who got attacked? When they get attacked? And it sticks to your, 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 your mind. And that's, the, 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 it puts a mark in your heart to stay in your brain. Oh, yeah, you're up. telling it like it is. Mm -hmm. ahead, you're you're telling it up. like it is. We have to humble up. Go ahead, Jim. Let, 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 uh, let me say something before everybody else jumps in. If you study these things, there is a formula that has been applicable to successful movements and revolution for years and years and years. And a lot of these people who are new to it have all of these enthusiasms and have all of these rumors, myths, and beliefs that they adhere to, and they don't study the process. They need to study the process so they don't repeat the mistakes. Thank you for giving us some of the process. Right on, Judge. Also, I mean, if I, if I, if I, if I, if I respectfully add this to it, too, because he did. A lot of, see, like, this cat actually joined our organization one time. I said, this might not be covered your cloth. But this, like, you know, a lot of cats can just sit on there and do a whole bunch of what Chandler Freer called intellectual masturbation. It's not the deal is we wear theory and practice. In order to come out to you a club, you're going to hit them, you're going to hit that concrete. You're going to, hit that, you're going to, have to inter inter interact with the people. A lot of these, a lot of cats, they they do just they're, they're, they're study like 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 even with the music, they hit us with the good cop bad cop uh, tactic. They on one hand they gave us a bunch of reactionary rappers who use so much misogyn misogynistic terms that we thought nigga and beagle was our, our our first name. Then on the other hand they hit us with these abstract conscious artists who can't connect to our community. You know what I'm saying? Who you know who so who so detached? You know, you know what I'm saying? Who cats can't relate to? The deal is, we we have to wear theory and practice. It's like a so all these cats, they be like, 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 like they, 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 all they do is read. It be like a, 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 a shadow boxer. You know, see, you go say, man, who was that? Oh, that's, that's that shadow boxer. So he, he, he a champ. Who he fought? Now he be, we be in, the, he, 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 fought, he, he, he be in the ring. You know, he be sweaty, come out there. But he, who is he? He's a shadow boxer. See, I'm. You asked me, Judge Brown, the beginning. You asked me, said, man, where, okay, where you get the title champion from? I told you, brother, this is here. This ain't no Egyptian dynasty or nothing. I've been held accountable. 
I ain't Jeremy Fred. You gotta look like him, talk like him. I'm held accountable. They say, okay, we're gonna see what you're gonna do when you go to, we're gonna take you to the max of the tent. We're gonna see you in Super Max. We're gonna see when you guys organize the, the, the stones, the cypher, the vice door. We're gonna see the person they come at that heat on you. Contested condition. A lot of cats think, I told one of these conscious rappers one time, I say, why do you think when they first get y'all, y'all first stop is in uh, Germany somewhere? He said, why do you think that, Chairman? I said, you're the blackest thing over there. Just, you, why, why do you think when you watch 48 hours, the police take you to a room? They don't ask you no questions out there in the community. Isolate you. So you train, you isolate them. You're not under no contested conditions. Like different organizations, you know what I'm saying? They subscribe to, oh man, who said, oh, that's one of the elders. We, I, man, our politics don't go just for that. Just because you, just because you old, if you know it, man, this is here. You, man, I tell you, I don't play no long distance poker. That's what you mean. You have to skin of the game. You don't have to be calling, hey, man, who was that? Oh, that's such and such. You know, they got five thousand hits on YouTube. Man, you, man, you, you miss me with that. We got scars and bars in this here. You have to put skin in the game with this here. What time? We some cats on the coalition with us. Paul, I, my guys, like my Plan B guys, sometimes. Paul tell the dude, he say, man, D, man, you talking all this stuff, man. We them guys in the plantation, they transfer you from another plantation. You have to pull your shirts, we see your back. See, see if you got some whips on your back. <laughs> all right, guys, so that officially wraps um, the first edit. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you, family, for listening. I love you to life. Um, speaking of love and support, please make sure that you drop down in the description box and show some love and support to Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. He's working on a lot of things. So guys, please make sure you peruse his site and show him your appreciation since he's out there on the battleground pretty much every single day uh, doing what we need him to do. So big shout out to Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. and his entire team, his entire support team. All right. So guys, um, yeah, outside of that, I uh, would love it if you joined me as I celebrate my birthday. I am a Labor Day baby, so my birthday is the first week of September. So please drop down in the comments section, show me love. And if you'd like to do anything else, um, you can definitely reach me at PayPal. Um, I have a PayPal account and also Cash App, dollar sign, Valerie Denise. Today's show is sponsored by My Olive Leaf. Please visit myoliveleaf.biz to shop for olive leaf extracts, which will assist your efforts to transform your life, detox your body, increase your energy, get restful sleep, and rid your body of antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal properties. Do not delay. Contact the MOL reps today. Please visit myoliveleaf.biz for their full line of olive leaf extracts and Moringa products. Oh yeah, for those of you who would like a personal consultation, please call the MOL reps at 612-567-3263. Also visit their website and social media pages for the latest on sales, new releases and more. The Hurricane Report. Write it, take action, maintain freedom. Buy their ge- mugs, hoodies, oh, leggings, they got all kind of stuff, right? The Hurricane Report.